We're recording now. We're recording and we're streaming. Hello and welcome to April's P.O. Box opening. Hey. So today we are going to be opening um, packages from the P.O. Box this month. It happens every month on the 14th. And uh, we're here live on Twitch. You guys can't see Twitch chat on this YouTube video, but they're crying. They're all crying. I don't know why you guys are crying. It's really strange. I have not made fun of you yet, but we're doing it. We're doing it live. And so, yeah, they're saying hi, YouTube. Trust me, they're saying hi, YouTube. Anyways. So, we're going to begin this P.O. Box opening, but before we start, I wanted to address... <laughs> I wanted to address last month's P.O. Box opening. Which opening, words are hard, which was my birthday P.O. Box opening? Unfortunately, I forgot to record it, and it was not posted on YouTube. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to link the Twitch highlighted VOD down below in the description, so if you missed it, you can watch it on Twitch. There we go. All right, Axel! Hi, YouTube! Oh. There we go. Hi, YouTube. All right, so we're gonna get this started. I'm just gonna take it from the top. We're just doing this. We're gonna take it from the top. Uh-oh! This one is, I don't know what it is yet, but it's in a package and it was in my P.O. box, so I'm gonna open it and we're gonna see what it is. I'm excited. Aw, wait, wait, wait. You guys gotta check and see if there's a letter in there. That's my favorite part, but there's no letter in this one, I don't think. Nope, just, just some pants, some leggings. So I put these on my Amazon wish list. Maybe the letter's inside the crotch. Hello? Nope. So I put these on my wish list because I thought they were pretty cool. But they're leggings. And it kind of reminds me of my tattoo. So there's a skull and a hummingbird. Hopefully they fit. We'll see. Oh, that's cute. And they're super soft. Oh yeah, we were gonna- I got a squirt gun! Oh my god, airbrusher, five dollars. Thank you so much. Everybody hype. Or MVP in chat, cause that's what we do here on Twitch, is when somebody donates, we MVP. Ah! Okay. So those are cool. Thank you to whoever sent those. There was no note. But I appreciate it. It's on my Amazon wish list. No, I'm not going to try them on. I'm not going to try the pants on right now. Okay. So this one is from Japan. Um, and it, it has a lot of tight. Can I see your tattoo? Yeah, uh, my tattoo, there's pictures of it on my Instagram if you guys want to check it out. Okay. <laughs> I'm scared. Oh god, what is this? Okay, wait, wait, wait. Is this a note? Oh, that's pretty. Hold on. Do I? Is this a note? I think this is a note. Is it? I think it's in this little thing. It's so cute. Oh. Oh, this is so cute. It's like it says, "Thank you for funny videos." PS this knit cap is convertible. Also become neck warmer. HN Siren, nine years old. Oh, you got really nice handwriting. You got really nice handwriting. Mullet Man Gallery for three months in a row. Everybody hype and chat. Oh, this is so cute. I like 
a little thingy. Okay, so it's a cap. What is hidden play? I don't know what that means. Hold on, hold on. There's more in here, so I'm gonna. What does hidden play mean? Yes. Oh, that's sick. So this can be a cap or it could be a neck warmer, which is perfect for when I go snowboarding this Saturday. Hidden play. Did I say gallery? Gally. 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 Sorry. I fucked it up. I fucked your name up. And then there's a hat, too. A baseball cap. I'm, I'm not very good at wearing caps. I never wear them because I just don't. And I don't know how. But... Oh, six characters. Is it an anime? Hold on. I got a small head. Whenever I wear caps, I can't wear them forward because I feel like I look weird. But I like this one. I may bring this to PAX. We're gonna, we're doing this. We're doing this. Hold on. There's a strategy for a female to put on a hat. Put it on your butt. That's not the correct strategy. Okay. I think I, f I fucked it up. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's right. I stole bunnies. Okay. I'm putting it on backwards. All right. Thank you so much. I forget who sent this. HN Siren. Thank you so much, HN Siren. I really like it. Thank you. I'm excited to take the snowboarding because it looks super comfy and warm. Okay. I'm actually going to put this back in its little. <laughs> This is a sick hat. Is that I don't know what hidden play is. I'm gonna have to look that up. If you guys are watching this on YouTube, if you guys could link me some stuff. Cause there's no links allowed in Twitch chat. <laughs> Unless you're a mod. Okay, on to the next one. On to the next one. Where did I put my knife? Oh, it's underneath. Okay. Oh, I'm scared. It's another one of these. I think it's from Alice. He's the only one that sends me things in these packages. Hi, police gamer. All right, see? These packages every time. I do have a knife behind me. But those are more like propo knives or whatever, prop knives. Okay. Oh, it's not. Dear Gover, if you still have to ask who these are from, it put in how do you say it? imger imger link case sensitive as a side note i'm not very good at photoshop but i think you already know this it is from alice oh dear god it is from alice okay we're gonna see what this It's a calling. It's a calling. 
calling picture that he drew. And then two mugs over sea squid. <laughs> Fucking A, Alice. Oh my god. I still haven't worn your shirts. I haven't worn your other shirts from my birthday PO box opening. Oh my god. What is in my hand? Okay. The the guy, the character is a balding ginger, no shirt with a spear. And then I think I have like muscle man milk in one hand and then something in the other. Bravo, Alice. Bravo. Fuck Alice. Uh, I'm gonna look up the Imgur link uh, after the PO box opening. Okay, this one is a letter. Somebody actually used my real full name, which George only does that. So and I don't, know, I don't think this is from George. Maybe. Hi, Gover. You asked for toenails and your community disappointed you. Not anymore. Are your toenails so big? Like, every single one of them. Is this even real? I touched it through the bag. I touched it through the bag. I'm done. Okay, well, I did ask for toenail clippings in a sarcastic manner. Um, thank you, Alice, for that. <laughs> Why the fuck? His toenails are so big. Okay. On to the next one. Okay. Jesus Christ. We all need Jesus. All right. No, nobody sends me dildos in the P.O. Oh, box. Yeah. I love you too, Burrito Bear. Thank you so much for subbing. And welcome to the Peep Crew. Everybody can hype and chat. Thank you. Welcome. Um, is Alice even here for this? I feel like he's been anticipating this P.O. box opening just for that reason. Ew, don't say stuff like that. 
I don't even want to say that out loud. Um, so we have a letter here. This letter is from New York. From Kana. God. <laughs> so first of all, <laughs> this is a straight up $10 bill. That's cute. Um, to Allie, aka Gover, aka not a squirt gun. So I didn't really know how I was going to write this. I wanted to make a video, but I also wanted to get it to you before your birthday. So here it is. First of all, happy birthday. I hope it's an amazing day full of laughs and peep crew fun. Also, I would really like to thank you for everything you do for us. The amazing streams, Fuckboy Fridays, and the hilarious YouTube vids. All to help brighten my day no matter what mood I'm in or the lack of sleep I have from staying up till 3 a.m. watching the stream. I have a problem. I honestly cannot express through paper how much you really do mean to me and the fellow members of the peep crew. Again, wanted to make a video, but cough, procrastinated. My Fridays have become fuck being social. I'm watching Fuckboy Friday first. I'd rather listen to talk about chocolate buttholes and squirt guns, which is hilarious. Then, oh my god, slams up with Chris, oh my god, you know, Chris, if you're watching, I'm sorry, but they didn't know which Chris you are. Now, for the more serious part of this letter, I really can't thank you enough for the streams I had and still am somewhat suffering from depression, and the streams are really good, are a really good coping mechanism. They also help me out in, uh, put me in a good mood even when I'm in a dark place that I have very few ways to escape from. And for this, I can't thank you enough. From the bottom of my heart, I really, truly thank you for everything you've done and everything you continue to do for us, your peep crew. From FF's Collide, AKA Connor. Oh, there you are! Hi! That's so sweet. There's a, also a quick question for Fuckboy Friday. Should be money in this letter, if not, fuck the post office. So I am 17. Um, I am 17, a junior, and I'm moving across the country from New York to Missouri. Uh, I have two options. I either stay with my family and move or live with a friend for a year and finish senior with the people I've known for years. Any advice? I'm honestly stuck as to what to do. Well, first of all, Connor, thank you very much for this very, very, very sweet letter. I really appreciate it. Um, I'm glad that my streams can provide you an escape from, you know, your, your dark times. Um, I've been there, and the fact that I can provide that for you with the streams and the puke crew is an amazing thing. Seriously, an amazing thing. Um, for the second part, so, your family's moving your senior year in high school. Um, so I either can stay with my family and move, or I live with a friend for a year and finish senior year with the people I've known for years. Any advice? So, if... If I was in your situation, and my parents would let me stay with a friend personally, I would take that option. Um, I love my family to death, but when I was that age, I wanted nothing more than to just hang out with friends. And, you know, you've been with these people for years, and, you know, senior year is a huge thing. You've gone through high school with these people, and now you want to finish with them. So if your parents are letting you stay with a friend, 
Personally, I would take that option. I would. Um, not only is it cool, like, is it awesome to stay with your friends, but it is also going to help you grow and get ready for the next step in your life, which is being independent from your family. Not saying that I know what your life is like and that you're not already independent, but um, I think, you know, either way, there are positive outcomes. Just have to convince them. Oh, so your parents don't know that you... Okay. I would say that if you want to bring it up to your parents, just be like, oh, God. So, um, are your parents chill? Yeah, like, what percentage do you think your parents would bite on that? Because I know my parents, my parents, my parents were a little, like, more controlling in that circumstance. But my parents would not go for that. If your parents are like, it makes sense. Finish high school with your friends. Then just be honest with them. But I don't know. If they let you... I hope they do. If not, there are still positive sides. Thank you, Connor. I really appreciate your letter. It was very sweet. All right. We are on to the next one. Connor is FFS collide. No 2% chill. <laughs> Mostly I'm fucked. Well, there's no hurt in trying, you know? Just make it make it real to them that you're passionate about this decision and you, you know, as long as you propose to stay with a friend that is in a responsible household that they trust cuz you're their baby, they're your child or you're their child. Yeah, that's what I meant to say. And they, you know, want the best for you. So you really got to be careful with this situation. Just plan it out and be like, I have, you know, I've talked to a friend and their parents and, you know, they're they're good family. You know. Yeah. Okay, moving on to the next one. This one is... Electric Gamer League. Electronic Gamers League. I don't know what that means. Well, I know what it means. I don't know what it is. If you're here on Fuckboy Friday tomorrow, I'll bring it up uh, to Sonya and Haley again. I don't know what this is. <laughs> they send stuff to my P.O. box rather than hitting me up in an email. That's hilarious. Okay. Hey there, Alu. My name is Mark and I represent Electronic Gamers Leagues. We build apparel stores for YouTube and streamers and gamers alike. We we're reaching out to you in hopes that we could get into a call to discuss opening an apparel store for you. We can make you a wide variety of products ranging from hoodies, tees, tanks, stickers, and wall decals. We hope you enjoy the stickers. If you'd like us, to, uh, if you'd like to send us your shirt size, we can send some products so you can get a feel for quality apparel you have with us. Thanks, dude. Thanks, dude. <laughs> But do they send socks? <laughs> um, all right, all right, fair, fair. Most businesses hit me up in my business email, but they were clever enough to get me at my P.O. box. Opening. Thank you, mods. 
want a shirt. I'm actually talking to some people about some shirts soon. So, Peep Crew. Okay. So we have two left. I'm gonna open this one. Feels like a box. I read the whole letter, Alice. Which I have something. Oh, hold on. What is this? Hold on. Hi, Toon G Overseas Square. I figured I'd get you something for your birthday. My bad. Um. Because I didn't get anything from mine, and that's no fun. Happy birthday, Gover. I hope it's a good one from Mr. McMahon Man. Mr. McMahon Man! That's so sad. Thank you. It's not my birthday. <laughs> oh, these are socks that I asked for. These are some socks that I asked for on my Amazon wish list. For my birthday. Comes in a like a really cool package. Oh, they're cute. I always gotta check the length. Sufficient length. The ankle and the heel. I like it. Oh, they're cute. Thank you, Mr. McMahon Man. And I'm really sorry that nobody got you anything for your birthday. That's sad. Oh, we love you. I don't know if you're here or not. Thank you. Okay. Last but not least. This is from Noah. Phoenix, Arizona. Oh, look, at, I'm a rap artist. It's not my birthday, guys. My birthday was last month. Pulling is slowly killing my PC. Welcome to my life. Okay. We are opening this. <clears throat> <clears throat> Dear Allie slash 2MG Overseas Squared. Hi, Allie. My name is Noah. I'm an aspiring writer who loves to write fictitious action and horror stories. I got one of the writer of aces on social media stuff um, to show you that I like to write. And the aces part shows off that I'm willing to go extremely far in my stories and express to people... Um, that might one day read what I write. Um, that message in the story is worth reading and experiencing. Through you, you have inspired me to write specific ways that would have been difficult for me uh, before I saw you on YouTube and Twitch. Um, you have showed me to always make the best of bad situations and to always have fun. No matter what happens, you always seem to find trust and show your loyalty to your fans and give them the fun you experience every day, even if the day wasn't the best. You always manage to brighten our days and make them that much better. You've taught so many, including me, that no situation is unbeatable and that we can all make through it. You show us, uh, so with your loyalty to us, we have become loyal to you so all of us who have our day become uh, so much more bright and easy due to you. We, those people, will always take it upon ourselves to help you and be there for you. So I heard you like to read, and I wanted to give you a preview of uh, to the Outlast script I'm working on for a little fan film. And a story I wrote in my freshman year. I hope you enjoy 
I hope you have the best of times for the rest of time. Thank you, Ali, so much. Stay strong. From Noah, Rider of Aces. Oh, darn, girl. That was sweet. Almost, almost made me cry. Didn't make me cry. Almost. Wait. I like your handwriting. There's a lot to this. Oh my god. You really do like to write. I love you. Burnett, double seven, seven months in a row. Everybody hype. Dude, this is perfect actually because I'm about to head to PAX East and that's like a flight across country that's eight hours. And I will be able to read this on the flight. I'm excited. I'm not gonna lie, I don't know Writer of Aces. Um, but I'm excited to read this. I really love seeing everybody's creativity. This is actually the first time somebody sent me some of their work, writing-wise, to my P.O. Box, so I'm excited. Maybe I could even, like, help you out, too. I, don't, I haven't read it, so I don't know how good it is or whatever. But I used to do creative writing, and I'd write really fucked up stories. Mostly inspired by my dreams. But thank you, Noah. I appreciate that. And thank you to everybody who sent me P.O. Box stuff for the month of April. We got shirts, we got caps, we got socks, we got letters, we got toenails. So I just want to say thank you guys so much for sending me stuff. I appreciate it. I love reading your guys' letters, and I really do appreciate. How many times am I going to say appreciate? I appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for watching this P.O. Box opening video for April 2016. Thank you, Hear Me Purr, for three months in a row. Everybody hype in chat. If you guys are on YouTube, if you guys want to send me anything in the P.O. Box, my P.O. Box address is down below in the description, as well as March's birthday P.O. Box opening linked so you can watch it on Twitch because I did not upload it to YouTube. That is a reminder. Check it out. Make sure you leave a like and a comment. And thank you guys so much for watching. All right.